Extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Veradelli. In today's climate classroom, as the climate continues to warm, sea level rise is accelerating. Florida's low-lying yet heavily populated shorelines are especially vulnerable. In recent days, multiple new studies have come to light with the same finding. Sea level is rising much faster here in the southeast and Gulf Coast than it is in other parts of the world. We are now seeing in real time that the rate of sea level has doubled in a decade. John Englander is an oceanographer and the president of the Rising Seas Institute in Boca Raton. He says starting around 2010, water levels in our region have been rising at twice the global rate. That amounts to about five inches in the past decade, a rate unprecedented in thousands of years. As a result, days with high tide flooding in the southeast have increased by 500 to 1,000 percent since 2000. The concern is, of course, how bad could it get? Partly it depends on how warm we let the planet get. That's because sea level rise is caused by global heating in three ways. Warming ocean water expands, pushing levels up. Warming also accelerates melting from the Greenland and Antarctic ice sheets. And warming throws ocean currents off kilter. The simple example that most Floridians would relate to is the Gulf Stream. It's measurably changing now, and we now attribute it to the warming ocean and the melting ice, particularly the ice in Greenland, which as it melts and enters the North Atlantic, it has an effect to slow down the conveyor belt of the ocean and the loop current and the Gulf Stream. These ocean circulations originate in the Gulf of Mexico and warmer and slower currents pile water up against our shores. Low-lying properties that are seeing increased flooding uh, are a problem. Insurance rates are going up. And there's a fear that there won't be available flood insurance at, a, you know, at an affordable rate in the coming years. So it's going to hit us in the pocketbook. In fact, a study published in February found due to flood risk, Florida properties are overvalued by $50 billion. Now, only time will tell if our regional short-term spike in sea level rise will continue or if it's just a natural fluctuation. But in the coming decades, as ice sheets melt faster, sea level rise will accelerate. Another foot is likely by 2050 here in the Bay Area. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.